Ja, und ich bin's wieder. Okay, so nahe heran. Hier bei meinem Let's Play von Ace Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Pass. Beim letzten Mal haben wir herausgefunden, dass äh, die Skulpturen vor 18 Jahren, die Dover gemacht hat, äh, nicht geschmolzen sind. Zumindest nicht alles. Sondern äh, von Kate gestohlen wurde. Und jetzt gehen wir davon aus, dass sie auch gleichermaßen irgendwie die Leiche versteckt hat. Nur wo? fragt jetzt Courtney. Ähm, wo haben wir das denn? Wir sagen mal, es war hier. This is the photograph of Mr. Dover's sculptures. Yes, and perhaps you've noticed that the victim's body can be seen in this picture. I do not see it. Please point it out clearly. Where in this picture can one see the body of the victim? It's time to expose the location of the body in the photograph. Okay. Dann wollen wir mal. Und wir sind jetzt mal wieder ganz crazy. Es ist... Der eine Part von Gemini. The Gemini Sculpture? Yes. One may look like the Gemini Sculpture at first glance. In reality, this is none other than Isaac Dover himself! This... This ice sculpture was the victim's body? But all I can see from this picture is an ice sculpture statue. Objection! That's because a certain piece of evidence was used to conceal it. Conceal it? Which piece of evidence did Miss Hall use to conceal the body? Das wäre... hier. Fluorescent. This is the cloth that was covering the sculpture in the Atom Palace. This cloth manipulates light. With it, it's entirely possible to make something look like ice. Isn't that right, Delicia? You see! When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno! And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice! That cloth will only emit light when it is attached to a special device. Objection! Judge Courtney, look closely at the picture on one more time. Beneath the Gemini case lies a box-shaped object attached to the pedestal. This is... a rainbow light device. Detective Gumshoe reported one in the Winter Palace. This is the device that went missing 18 years ago. Originally, it would have been attached to the clothes inside the glass case. Naturally, Miss Hall took the device with her when she moved the sculptures. By using the rainbow light device to make the fluorescent clothes glow. Mr. Dover's body was made to look like an ice sculpture. That's ridiculous. So then, when Uncle Ray took a photo of the Winter Palace. That's right, the body had been in front of us all along, disguised as Gemini. However, the body and the fluorescent clothes were both discovered in a fountain. If this ice sculpture was the body, we would have found it in the Winter Palace. If we had found it there, her trick would have been revealed immediately. Miss Hall moved the body out of the Winter Palace to prevent us from discovering it. Absurd! You say she threw the body into the fountain without any of us noticing? No, Judge Courtney. There was no need for that. She simply used the same method as before. Remember the lift trolley? Uh, oh! 
She moved the body to some other room and dumped it into the stream to the fountain. Naturally, the frozen body would have sunk to the bottom of the fountain. That's why the clothes floated up first and was found by Delicia. And eventually the body thawed out and floated to the surface. Monsieur Edgeworth, you truly have a gift for deductive reasoning. However, do you have any proof that I moved the body? If you cannot prove that, then there is no way I can accept what you are saying. Hmm? Wasn't there anyone who saw Miss Howell move the body? Yes, I believe such a person exists. The answers lie in the evidence that person gave me. And that piece of evidence will reveal the truth of Miss Hall's actions. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you able to prove the crime of Miss Curator? Certainly, I have evidence that will show exactly what she did. Then it's time we see your answer. Which piece of evidence reveals Miss Curator's actions? Das wäre... Es wird ja mal Zeit, dass es wichtig wird. The Sketch of Beauties. Danke, Larry! Another sketch? Oh, it appears I have been drawn in this one. This is a sketch Larry drew of the woman at the Fountain Passion. I would like to direct your attention to the service card on the left side of the sketch. Service card? What about it? Hm. Don't you see? What transpired 18 years ago has happened again! Miss Hall was moving the body in this sketch! No! Please wait! I don't see Monsieur Dover's body anywhere in that drawing. All I do did was hand out chocolates to everyone. The key de detail in this sketch is the color of the tablecloth. Up until now, I thought Larry had just made a mistake. The tablecloth? It's light blue. It may be light blue in the sketch, but no blue tablecloth exists in this mansion. Perhaps it's light blue because the body was hidden, still glowing underneath the tablecloth. What? But the lift trolley is re rectangular in the sketch. If she pl just placed the body in the lift trolley, we would notice it immediately. There were two blocks of ice in the Winter Palace that are completely hollowed out. If she put the body inside the block of ice, it would look like a service card. That's... Miss Hall, you put the body in the block of ice and used the lift trolley to move it, didn't you? I... I never imagined you would be able to deduce so much from just a single sketch. But what if it was just a mistake like you said before? It doesn't prove anything. Hmm. I agree that alone the sketch is worthless. Once you remove the body, the service card would re revert back to a lift trolley. That's why the lift trolley was left behind in the Fontaine Passion. And without the service card, there would be no place for you to put your chocolates. The chocolates I get everyone? Until then, the chocolates had sat on top of the service card as you gave them away. But when you gave them to us, you took them from your pocket. Ah, now that you mention it, they were a bit melted. But they were still really sweet and tasty. So, why was it necessary to put them in your pocket halfway through? That's because... That's because once the body was disposed of, you no longer had a service card. Ah! Hold it right there. If she put the chocolates in her pocket and left the lift trolley in the passion, then where did the tablecloth go? 
if she had been forced to put the chocolates in her pocket. She wouldn't have had time to dispose of the tablecloth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, can you answer that for me? The tablecloth wasn't hidden. It's right in front of us. Do clarify. The tablecloth used to hide the body. Where is it now? Wie wäre es, wenn wir sagen, dass sie es immer noch bei sich hat? Isn't it obvious? Miss Hall is carrying it with her out in the open. Out in the open? Oh, you mean... Miss Hall, you are wearing the tablecloth around your waist! The block of ice was not encased in a glass case. In other words, the tablecloth was in direct contact with the block of ice. If we have it examined, we will undoubtedly find traces of Charbet on it. Miss Hall, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. There is no need to examine the tablecloth. It is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delicia and moved the body. I have done... I have done terrible things. Madame Delicia, I am so sorry. One week ago, I took your megatoxin X bottle. I slipped it into that man's pocket to make it look like suicide. And if they suspected it was murder, the evidence would point to the Madame Delicia. <coughs> Katie! Kate, what were you thinking? Weren't we always trying to save Mr. Master together? I could not let myself be arrested. Not until I had proved Monsieur Master's innocence. From the very beginning, I had planned to turn myself in once everything was over. But I suppose it is too late to say that now. Wait, why? Why would you go this far? Even for Monsieur Sheets, I've caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years, I have been a criminal. The IS-7 incident. Don't tell me that you were the true culprit. My greatest crime was stealing the Sherby sculptures for my own selfish interests. When Monsieur Dover died, they were no longer just ordinary sculptures. They had become the final works of the sculpture Monsieur Master so deeply loved. What if... What if they melted before Monsieur Master returned? With that in mind, I couldn't let anyone touch them, not even the police. Even though I know it was wrong, I moved them to the mansion's freezer. However, I only wanted to preserve Monsieur Dover's art. I did not know his body was hidden among them. So she stole the sculptures without noticing the body. Monsieur Marster would never take another person's life. But because of me, the body vanished and Monsieur Marster was found guilty. That kind man. He treated someone like me as family. He meant more to me than anyone else, and yet... Kate? When Monsieur Marster was found guilty, I was chased out of this mansion. He was finally able to reclaim the mansion just a few days ago, but... When I saw the sculpture still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized... 
that I was the one who hit Monsieur Dover's body. However, the statute of limitations had already expired. Therefore, I could think of no other way to atone for my sins. It appears I have misunderstood her. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you thinking about, Mr. Edgeworth? There's one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And the reason she disguised the Tom Palace to look like the Winter Palace was to make those involved in the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms. I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. She was trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence. In that case, Miss Hall's true objective was... Yeah... Sie wollte lediglich herausfinden, wer der wahre Mörder ist. Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit. Miss Hall, were you trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence? You wanted to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. Was that not your true goal? By displaying those sculptures, you'd attract those involved in the past incident. Only two people would know where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. The culprit would panic knowing that the body would be displayed publicly. Yes, and if the culprit really showed up, there's the risk they'd erase their tracks. In a worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. So, how could you protect the evidence while simultaneously luring in the culprit? I see. That's why she made the Atom Palace look like the Winter Palace. Yes, and then? Miss Hall, you must have thought. Whoever opens the Piscus case, believing it to be the Gemini case, must be the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. What? But that means... that person is... the true culprit? Please wait a moment, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the IS-7 incident? Miss Hall was trying to trap the two culprit. If so, wouldn't the person who fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end well. Should I announce the true killer of Isaac Dover? Come, bring this to end. What I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there's no need to hesitate. Yes, that's correct, Judge Courtney. I indict this person as the true culprit behind the IS-7 incident. Und der Mann, der das gewesen ist und letztendlich auf diese schöne Falle von Kate reingefallen ist, Dane Gustavia. Dane Gustavia, who fell victim to the poison gas, is the true culprit of the IS-7 incident? Gustius! Mr. Gustavia. Miss Hall, didn't you believe that if you opened this gallery, the true culprit would come? That's why. You set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. 
It is as you say, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, would you please tell us the whole truth? Yes, I have nothing more to hide. I will tell you everything. I set the trap in the gallery to find the true culprit. Before the gallery opened, I left only the Eton Palace unlocked. At opening time, when I went around to unlock each room, I discovered that the Eton Palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the true culprit was on the other side of the room. My hand was trembling. All that was left was for the trap to do its work. When I heard Monsieur Gustavia was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. And I thought if the police discovered Monsieur Dover's body, it would prove Monsieur Master's innocence. Why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know that you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. However, all of this had been brought on by my own crime. That's why I wanted to save Monsieur Berster as soon as possible. Kate. Not only that, the police hid the fact that the body went missing 18 years ago. Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. That's why I caused the incident at the museum's opening with as many witnesses as possible. I'm sorry. Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you. I couldn't protect anyone. Mr. Shields. It must be tough on him as well. The one who should be apologizing is me. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Shields, I'm terribly sorry. I shall accept whatever punishment I am given. However, I must ask of you, please clear Monsieur Master's name. The truth that was hidden for 18 years was revealed in an unexpected manner. However, to think that things would end this way... Ja, unbelievable, nicht wahr? Natürlich speichern wir das auch ab. Ganz klare Sache. Und Alter... Hm... Kate ist ein... Kate Es ist war natürlich falsch, aber sie wollte letztendlich nur was Gutes tun. Hat sie ja alles nur für Master gemacht. Ah. Aber durch die... Durch sie finden wir letztendlich heraus, auf wen wir uns als nächste stürzen müssen. Haben wir eine schon rausgefunden. Dann komm. Im nächsten Part stürzen wir uns dann auf Gustavia. Ja. Egal ob positiv oder negativ. Wer hat schon mehr gern gesehen, da war es mein Satz. Und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr geil.